Slow YouTube, Ronin Kazi. Oh crap. Let me try. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those, isn't it? Let me turn the volume down. Legendary gameplay. District Union. So I got in this group, let's say Sunday. Already got the exotic for the week, but you know I like running legendaries. We roared through the first three or four stages and then we wiped in the pool room. One of the problems is, and I've told you about this build over and over and over again, that it's uh, it's a good build. I did a legendary with my two sons and we played the same build. It was just too much of a good thing. And so this group has a lot of status effects, but it doesn't have a lot of skill DPS. And so what happens is minions and under we wipe, but chungas just, we can't put them down. And so there's a use case for weapon DPS. That's when you need weapon DPS for that kind of stuff. And that's when you need skill builds with high DPS. To make matters worse, I was gonna trim my inventory till I only carry four sets, so I don't have to worry about inventory. So it was gonna be my high DPS skill build, my tank build, my, I was gonna pick one status effect build, jammer, vile jammer build, and then my vile jammer build for uh, legendaries last high survivability. And when I did that, <clears throat> I really exposed, uh, a while back I said, oh, I'm going to change my skill DPS build. And uh, that was a mistake because while I put out sustained DPS, it's not the same. Having that burst DPS with waveform and whatever the momentum is just unbeatable and with perfect shock and all it's a lot of dps you can put in there so this is our second time through here i'm going to use oxidizer uh i got my higher skill dps build uh i don't know if i have oxidizer with creeping death uh you seem to go through here good but when we get with the chungas i'm not real thrilled with it maybe i don't know how to use oxidizer um, and you can see we're tearing through these smaller things pretty fast. And so I would just caution you to look at your, you know, again, these are all high level people. We got a guy with 15,000 watch score who's obviously been playing a long time, but it was just, you know, there, we struggled at times for no reason. In other areas we went through, it's like shit through a tin horn. We killed the two dogs like it wasn't even anything. And so I guess basically whether if I analyze it even further, what it comes down to is having a bunch of AOE damage versus having strong single target damage. And you need a mixture of both to be a really successful group. I'm not saying we're not successful. We end up beating the mission, but you know, we wiped earlier in the pool room. Part of it's overconfidence and overplaying. What happens is uh, as you roll through content, you, you get kind of confident, and that's any game. So while we're playing this, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I have a Steam Deck that I play games on. Uh, I'm doing Division 1, I'm doing Destiny 2, I'm doing... Uh, I do Diablo, I don't put those up as much. But I'm playing a lot of different games. You see I went down there and then we made it to the next section. And one of the things I'm thinking about getting a new computer. I have a Zephyrus G2000 or a G14. I got around uh, 2020, I think. Uh, it's not bad. It's like a 4900 HS AMD, which is great. I like the low power. Uh, it's my main rig that I do everything on, but I'd like something a little more powerful now. And I want to keep low wattage. Kind of what I'm aiming for is having low 
power consumption devices that I game with. And having the smallest uh, smallest footprint. So in one way, you could say, uh, you know, I could have one humongous computer with three monitors or six monitors or whatever. Or I could have, you know, three tablets and a, and a laptop that's hooked to a monitor. And I can have my basic rig, uh, which I got now. I'm probably going to switch this over to where I just use a USB hub for everything plug it into whatever device needs to use the keyboard and mouse or whatever. Obviously, if I have all my tablets up, I can just use the touch screen for that. And I like that. It's a lot less usage of space. I don't have to have a KVM. I don't have to worry about dicking around with the keyboards. I do have a nice uh, wireless keyboard, Logitech, that goes with three devices. I, I can do that if I want. But what I found is I'll have ancillary things. For example, my iPad mainly is my device I use for editing videos and uh, one of the reasons is the software LumaFusion was $20 and it's fantastic I feel very comfortable using it I can do a lot of different things with it and I was gonna I was going to I put a video up of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic and I played that on the Switch I recorded it on the Switch geez oh Pete's the Steam Deck and I recorded on the Steam Deck and I was gonna edit it on the Steam Deck. But when I got into KD, Kaden Live, you know, the free, I, I just, it's like I've never edited a video before. Like I sit there for hours, like how do I do this? How do I do this? So I'm really stuck on this uh, Luma Fusion and the easy use it is for me. I can knock a video out pretty fast. And if I needed to change things, it'd be really easy for me to add, you know, different features. You may wonder why I don't put up, look at this video here and look at this video there. It's because uh, I just, uh, some of this isn't about the video. Some of this is, uh, I like to think of this as kind of like a uh, podcast almost, where I'm talking about games and how they relate to other things. That's how I think about what I'm doing. You may say, Ronan, you're just a shitty team player than we come to watch. You know, you fuck up. But... The, the reason I play Legendary so much because it's like, <clears throat> not that maybe the hardest, but it's the, maybe raids are the hard, hardest, heroic raids, but uh, Legendaries are a different gameplay where the one thing that it takes away from, the reds and purples do a lot of damage and they have a lot of sustainability. Not reds as much as purples, so you can't make a build where they're all yellows where you can just go through like it's nothing. Also, the focus fire in a legendary is nothing to sneeze at. You you go down. I've only seen about three people ever have builds that they just walk through legendaries. And even then, you know, they're not taking the brunt of the damage. You, you know, you have like three people fighting, taking, you know, say 50% of the, the damage or 75% of the damage, and they go around and knock single targets off. At one of these points, uh, I think in this case, I just got a normal turret. I've started, when we went before, I had a fire turret, which is going great. This build I have is 11.5 seconds recharge on there. It's Roxy. This is like a max DPS build, but it doesn't have any ramping up skills. So I have the same good damage all the time, but it doesn't peak. And having peaky damage is good. Uh, I don't care what that British guy says. I don't care what British people say. Anyways, and God bless you, British people. Thank you for all the stuff. You're our friends. Uh, it just, uh, my American insecurity is when I hear a British accent, somehow I think that that's, uh, that carries more weight than that. It has nothing to do with you guys. That's my American uh, weakness. <laughs> Some of my best, best friends have been British. I've worked with a lot of British people in my career outside the military where there was an industry called Cornet Measuring Machines and there was a company called Sheffield in the Midlands of England and Renishaw, which are kind of like pioneers in the business. And a lot of people cut there that I ended up working with had come from those companies, LK, Renishaw, Sheffield. And they uh, learned a lot from those guys. I have a lot of respect for them. A lot of really good friends. 
But you didn't come here to learn about the history of coordinate measuring machines. You came in here to wonder why I said decoy. So as we're going here, you can see I'm changing a lot. I'm, I got high DPS or whatever, and, it, and it's okay. And in this build, when you have Empress, your skills do last a little bit longer. The main skill that benefits from that is the drone. Your drone lasts a lot longer. So in that case, if you were more drone centric, that would be a good case for it. But again, I don't like the lack of damage. I'll probably go back to my damage build. And really, uh, it's one of the reasons I don't watch a lot of YouTube because some of the ideas, you know, whatever, that's just me. So I'm looking at buying a new computer. Uh, I will review it when I get it. Part of me would like to just get a Zephyrus uh, 2022, 2023, maybe with a 6900 in it. That would be kind of a decent upgrade. Uh, but I'm looking at something that might not take as much space. Right now, my laptop always is hooked to a monitor. <clears throat> and I have a keyboard and mouse. I very seldom use it as a laptop. Okay, so we finished that section. And I'm about to run out the door. When someone starts shooting me. And as you know. That's the international sign for. Hey I have something for you. I put on my DPS build. My. Uh, Vial jammer build. And see I'm getting hit. I'm like what is this. And so I go back here, and I don't need any of these mods, but it's a decoy mod. So I'm like, and this is the 15,000 watch guy, so I put on the decoy. We go through that first part, and I'll have decoy in this part. Now, decoy is super powerful. I have a very fast recharge, so decoy is going to come back really fast. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but uh, that kind of helps people get up to top and now i'm going to throw the decoy down there and so now you're going to see me play with decoy quite a bit and so that's one of the ways that people normally you shoot someone when you're trying to drop something for a low level guy i probably i think two of the guys are like 3900 i'm like 4300 so i guess maybe that guy wanted me to do something he can tell what build i'm kind of playing and I was vacillating around in between different builds like I wasn't really sure what skills would work. But we have not had enough DPS to kill Chungus. And so one good thing about the Vile Jammer is I'm pulsing the, the Johnny Fives down putting pressure on everyone so that part's good but if you don't have a single target you can hear someone that might be a bullet king or something so someone i'm not the only person that recognized this but really we don't have a traditional hey i got a shield and i got heartbreaker and i'm gonna kill everything if you guys keep me alive and so this is one of those times and of course the corrosive guy Crosses himself as usual, as that's what crows of people do. And I can't find the chungas now. I know that we only killed one, so I'm gonna put this out in the middle and I'm gonna keep pulsing. Oh, and they're both down there. <clears throat> so that's good. So think about getting a new computer, and when I get the computer, I will go over it and I'll do a uh, pretty good review of it and why I got it and what I'm looking at. Again, I'm looking for low power devices that can play games. And I'm looking for some uh, low footprint, small footprint. Uh, I, thought to, I thought about Nooks, those, uh, you know, the real small computers just need like a monitor. 
Uh, one of the negatives about that is uh, there are times where I might go, you know, I, I do, I used to travel for work a lot, so a portable gaming rig, <clears throat> excuse me, would be kind of nice to have. So I have my eye on something. I've done a lot of research. It's not the ideal thing. It's a little bit of a compromise. But uh, if I'm going to use these dongles and these hubs for USB-C, then I really have a case to just, you know, have a setup that I'm just moving the, the dongle to different machines. And then, of course, I have backup. I have backup laptops that I then will form out to family members and let give them grandkids uh, laptops and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty much, I buy Asus kind of stuff. Uh, I bought like a Dell Alienware R13 and that just, that fans run on that constantly. I'm not a person that's gonna pull apart and re uh, thermal paste. The, you know, that's what people said you need to do. That's not like my idea of fun in a laptop. On a desktop, maybe I would think about it. <clears throat> and I made a desktop, and I used to do a desktop, but it's like a 650 watt power supply, and that has fans. And that's, you know, during the winter, it'd be great to heat up the room, but in the summer, it's a pain in the ass. And reducing the footprint of what I use, you know, I don't need three 30 inch monitors, I just need. You know, when I want to look something up, I, I have a tablet that I can look it up. It's on a stand, the uh, Steam Deck. I don't have a, I have to share a stand with that. So buy a $10 or $15 stand for that. Then I have everything kind of up and at them all the time. And what I found is uh, I play music a lot on Google Music. And so I just use an old phone for that, which goes to my whoopie doo speaker. Uh, this area is normally going to be a problem. <clears throat> so... I have my fast 11.5 second jammer build and I'm putting that, I don't know where a good spot for the decoy is. I want them, everyone to see it. I don't want it to go down too much. This is a time if I was just a decoy guy that maybe I'd have a decoy and artificer, but I don't. And one of the things that you want to prevent in this time is you don't want the drone controllers to start getting in a thing where they just start bombarding you with drones. So that's kind of what my job is. That's the emphasis of the build. If you're going to do legendaries, you don't want Black Tusk to get uh, a cycle going where they're launching drones. have a lot of really great uh, new commenters. Please, if you check out the latest videos, uh, there's one person that gives very detailed builds. They're, they're all fantastic. I'm right in line. He articulates in writing what I'm telling you all this time, uh, talking about like what are the benefits of the build. He has a capacitor build that I tried to do, but I got into one of these groups and then I just, I, if I'm honest with myself, I'm gonna only play four builds and I'm really gonna always default to this file jammer 90% of the cases. And then when I'm really, when shit really hits the fan, I'll pull out like a max DPS and, I, and I'm gonna go back to my maximum DPS. It's not the maximum sustained DPS, it's the maximum DPS. So that's pretty good. This time I wanna say thank you. You know, it's weird. <clears throat> I was stuck on 309. Uh, subscribers i just got a new subscriber yesterday so i'm at 310 want to thank everyone you guys have been great i want to tell you a thing when i started this in november i just put these videos out into the void there's a lot of people i consider friends uh two of the people i play in the game with i'd love to play with every single person and you know i would just do heels if you wanted me to do the heels and just go along i, I really enjoy playing with the community and there's a couple people that just comment there's uh <laughs> Super Lanky Lanky is a, a favorite. Uh, I have something for him, and it's coming. He's been waiting this whole video, and I don't want to disappoint him. Ambrosia. Thanks, YouTube. Ronan Kazi, out.